Greetings, traveler. Toonfest is supposed to be a celebration of Toontown's existence, started by Disney's Toontown Online. Toontown rewritten incorporated it into the unused section of Acorn Acres for once a year for the annual Toonfest. I should like Toonfest, I like Toontown, and I like minigames. But even when you get past the constant lag of it all, it still isn't that fun and falls flat. I'm Calico Kitty, and these are the reasons why I do not like Toonfest. What's laggier than Beanfest in the Dreamland, has more particles on your screen than the burr, and is less fun than a CEO? You guessed it, Toonfest. You ne to play it, you need a semi-decent computer just to play it on, like, a medium-sized server. And if you want to play on one of the full servers, you'll need, like, a super computer. The only way to manage all the lag is to play on a speed chat plus only district with no one else on it. But then there's no one to play with, so what's the fun? Every year, Toontown makes these big announcements about this year's Toonfest, and every year it's the same and falls short. The only time I was excited was for the first time I went to it, and even then I only played it for 10 minutes because of the unbearable lag and glitches. Another disappointment is the few games and activities that they have there. You can do all the games in a party that you can make, and they are less laggy there and they have fun music. The cannons, you can get those at your house, or someone else's house. The trampolines are at parties, and they're impossible to play at Toonfest. Pie throwing, that's kind of boring, and there's a party game like it. You can fish literally everywhere else, so I think I'll just be riding the trolley if I want to play some fun mini games. When I plan the trolley, I'll know that I'll actually be getting something useful, like jelly beans. The coins from Toonfest are pretty much useless. The Toonfest exclusive items are just lame and underwhelming. I looked through the catalog and I didn't like any of them. They're they're just lame. The exclusive Toonfest blue is kind of cool, but why would you grind the coins for it? I'm pretty sure I'm fine with my color. The prizes just cost way too much for how much you were paying for them. It's not worth it. Every time Toonfest comes around, it brings more bugs with it. The amount of crashes in Toonfest is beyond me, and I would rather not have it if it means my game can run more smoothly. Every time I wanted to play the cannon, my game would just break. Fun stuff. The last problems I have with Toonfest are just two little things that annoy me. Like who is Rigimarole, and why is there a Toonfest TP icon? Does Rigi Marole just exist because they wanted some tune to host the Toonfest party? Because I feel like Flippy could do a better job. I freaking love that dog. The last thing is the annoying icon that lets you TP to Toonfest. I already have Clarabelle annoying me about deliveries and new catalogs, but I don't mind because I like clothes. A button that lets me TP to Toonfest? No thanks. The problem isn't me finding it, the problem is Toonfest itself. So those are my problems with Toonfest. I hope next year the Toontown Rewritten team can make it as good as the new surprise animation. Thank you for watching this video, and it would mean a lot if you subscribed to my channel and left a comment on what you think of Toonfest. Bye!